Big Sur is known for its rugged natural beauty. One of the best ways to take in this beauty is by taking one of the many hikes located within the state parks. One of the more popular hikes is called the Buzzard's Roost Trail, located in Pfeiffer Big Sur State Park. Welcome to the Savvy Sightseer, the channel that helps you travel savvy. The Buzzard's Roost Trail is considered a moderate 2.6 mile loop hike. The reason I wanted to make this video was because that description can actually be really deceiving. When we checked in with the park ranger at Big Sur Station, his exact words were, this is considered a moderate hike, but then he paused and laughed. I wasn't sure exactly why until we were on this hike. It's actually not so moderate. One of the best things we did was stop at Big Sur Station. The park ranger gave us some very helpful hints for this hike, and I want to pass those on to you. First, let's talk about where to go. From Highway 1, you will enter the main entrance of Pfeiffer Big Sur State Park. You will drive past the lodge and keep going until you get to the entrance station kiosk. This is a state park, so there is a $10 fee. Once you purchase this pass though, it can be used for any other state park. So I suggest using it to also go to other state parks in the area, such as Julia Pfeiffer Burns State Park, which is just south of this one. And you can see places like McWay Falls in the same day to really get your money's worth. Now, once you get past that kiosk, you can either park in day use lot one or two. We parked in number two and it was the most convenient and honestly it was actually less busy of the lots to access this trail. Once you park right in front of you, you will see the bridge that you will need to take. As you cross this bridge, you will instantly start to see how beautiful this hike will be. You will cross the Big Sur River. It is one of the most clear, tranquil rivers I've ever seen. Stand there and just take it in for a moment. As you continue on the path, you'll actually follow the signs pointing you in the direction to stay on the Buzzard Roost Trail, as there are other trails in the area. This trail will continue to take you along this river. Soon, you will begin your ascent. This trail takes you up approximately a thousand feet. At first, it was more of a gradual ascent. We were so taken aback by the grand size of the redwoods surrounding us that we didn't quite notice how high we were getting. But if you peek through the redwoods, you'll see soon enough how high you're getting up there. After a short while on the trail, you will eventually come to a Y in the trail. This was another tip the ranger gave us while at Big Sur Station. He said that when you come to the Y, go left. He said it would be a bit longer to the viewpoint this way, but more of a gradual incline compared to if you were to go right. Even going left, it was steep. There were obvious prepared and seasoned hikers scaling this side and breathing pretty heavy. We found ourselves needing to stop and take several breaks along with a lot of other people we saw. I kept telling my husband that if this was the easier way to go, I couldn't imagine what it would be like if we had gone right at that Y. We would soon find out when we made our descent. More on that later. I can only assume what is the draw for this hike, besides the beautiful nature you're surrounded by, is the reward at the top. Once you climb about 1.3 miles up a thousand feet, you are greeted by views high above the Pacific Ocean. It really was beautiful, but if I was being honest, I had kind of expected more, and we had seen what we considered more beautiful views from our resort and other stopping points along Highway 1. It's a good spot to stop and have lunch and just enjoy the views from a thousand feet above the ocean, or just take a rest after that strenuous hike up. We saw several people doing this while we were there taking it all in. After spending some time appreciating the view, we started to head down the other direction. We instantly realized why the guide had told us to go left. This was a very steep decline we were on. We encountered several groups who were struggling to make it up and asking us how close they were to the top because they were considering turning around. So if there's one word of advice for this trail I can give you, go left. On our way down, it started to rain. We handled going down okay, but because of the steepness, I really wouldn't suggest taking this trail when it's raining. It was getting slick and it could be dangerous. The whole hike can take about one and a half to two hours, depending on how fast or slow you go up. It's a quick descent either way. Overall, with stopping and spending about 10 minutes at the top, it took us about an hour and 45 minutes total. Like I mentioned before, we had expected something a bit more grand at the top, but it was a rewarding hike. We felt so good after it, just being in nature. 
and hiking amongst the giant redwoods is never a bad thing. So overall, if you're looking for a moderate-ish hike with beautiful views, Buzzard's Roost might just be the one for you while in Big Sur. Thank you for joining me and letting me share with you Buzzard's Roost Trail in Big Sur. Make sure to hit subscribe so you can see more of my videos to help inspire your next travel destination and to help you travel savvy.